careless with marchers. Do shut the gate. But most important of all... Try not to look like a badger. Sorry, whose turn is it anyway? <laughs> I'm going to jump. It's the old paving stone at 172 feet per second for me, mate. <laughs> Not from here, it isn't. <laughs> Why not? This is the executive floor. <laughs> that is bloody charming. That's, <laughs> That's bloody marvellous, that is. <laughs> it's a free country, isn't it? You don't own the place. As a matter of fact, I do. You're not Basil Montague, are you? Sir Basil Montague, yes. Well, how fancy meeting you up here, then. <laughs> Better late than never, isn't it? Well, I'm very pleased to meet you, mate. I'm Perkins, Mr. Perkins, from the paint shop. Well, I tell you what, Perkins, why don't you piss off back to the paint shop <laughs> and try jumping off your own ledge? Well, I can't do that, can I? Why not? It's in the basement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's down there. Down there in the basement where you never come. Down there where the sun never shines. Down in the bowels of the earth where the whole managing director, sir, never comes down there, does he? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You think just because I am managing director of, of, of a multinational... <laughs> all I do all day is drive fast cars, eat huge expensive cup lunches, and have a bevy of naked secretaries massaging my nuts. <laughs> well, that crossed my mind, yes. <laughs> well, that's only part of it, you know. <laughs> It's very, very lonely at the top. Well, you'll be glad of the company then, won't you? <laughs> Don't mention the company. Oh, no, I get it, I get it, I get it. Don't show me the company's gone to the wall, isn't it? If you must know, yes, it has. Oh, marvellous, marvellous. <laughs> That's made my day, has it, that is. Not only am I killing myself, I'm out of a job as well. <laughs> well, go on then, get on with it, I haven't got all day. Just a minute, just oh. a minute. <laughs> I've had a fault. What is it? Well, you throw yourself off. Yes. Then I throw myself off. Yes. Well, you're a big geezer. I can land on top of you and bounce back up here. Oh, I? Say. Well, I could be bouncing up and down like a trampolinist. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You jump off first. Go on. You're in a bit of a hurry to see me off all of a sudden, aren't Look, you? I don't care who goes first. I just want to kill myself. Is that OK? So do I, so do I. <laughs> Why don't we go together holding hands? <laughs> I wouldn't be seen dead holding hands. <laughs> One step. <laughs> Two step. <laughs> so, so, uh, so this is it then? Yeah. Just a few seconds away from a close encounter with the old frog and toad, eh? <laughs> Count of three. Yeah, all of us. One. Two. I prefer four, oh. I think. 
Look, we've just, we've just agreed three. No, I, as a worker, I'm quite within my rights to demand four, aren't I? All right, all right, four. <coughs> you don't want to negotiate, do you? No. <laughs> we can put it to arbitration. You can put it up your ass for all I care. <laughs> do you want to jump or not? Of course I want to jump. I just wanted the timing right. Oh, it's crucial, isn't it, the timing? I'll tell you what, I'll do the elephants. I'll do the elephants. I beg your pardon? Well, you know, one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we jump on... The elephant. On the yes. elephant. That's right. On the elephant. Right. right. Holding hands. I want, do you mind if we close our eyes? It's just a like, terrible vertigo. Yes. Like yes. Very well. <laughs> close our eyes. Yes. Right. No good. Yeah. <laughs> One step. Two step. There we are. Off you go. Then. Off you go. One. Elephant. Two. Elephant. <laughs> Three. <Yeah. laughs> I'll do it some other time. I'm going back inside. I'd rather face my shareholders than spend the last three seconds of my life with a boring little prat like you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there we are. You never did jump in the end. Well, it's all in a day's work for the Samaritans. This one worked out all right, but you know, suicide's a funny thing. <laughs> Mine, there you go. Elephant! When Mrs. Jones' television exploded, wrecking her house and setting her husband, Jack, on fire, we didn't panic. We sent a camera crew straight round. <laughs> and when Mr. Stevens' house and entire family slid into a quarry while he was away on business, our team was there to greet him when he arrived back. So isn't it nice to know that if the worst does happen, you'll at least get on the telly. <laughs> National Alliance Insurance. We will make an advert out of a crisis. Well, uh, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We now... Hang on a minute. Sorry. I'm bloody furious, Griff. <laughs> Good, that's great, fine. Uh, we now come to the point in the... Hang on, uh, to... Hold on, I'm sorry. I know this isn't usually the time or place to bring up contentious issues, Griff. No, that's right, yeah, that's all right. But it's something I've just... I, I'm afraid I've got to get it off my chest. Right, right, OK. OK? Good, well, far away, yeah. Well, <clears throat> I think they should free Steve Davis now. <laughs> I mean, it's unpardonable. I mean, it's inhuman what they've done to that guy. I mean, he's clearly innocent, and they should set Steve Davis free. <laughs> yeah, George Davis. Now, I yeah. have here a petition. <laughs> what? Yeah, I think, I think it's George Davis you're talking about, because I think Steve Davis is a sort of snooker player, isn't he? <laughs> is he? Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't even make a fuss, but, you know, this, this was all sort of ten years ago, ah, all this George Davis. Nah, it's a burning issue now, Griff. I went, it, yeah. I went for my check-up to the dentist, yeah. and there it was. It was on a hoarding outside the window. Yeah. George Davis is innocent. I see. Right, it was scrawled right across a Bay City Rollers poster. Yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's now it's vital, it's, it's, it's crucial. Sorry, listen, Mel. Mel, listen, George Davis is guilty. This was all so long ago, they've had time to put him on trial, find him guilty, put him away and release him again. He was released then? Yes, he was. Right on! Oh, OK. Us. No, shut up, I'm to say. Listen, if you want to interrupt, can you just make it a little bit more topical, something a bit more up-to-date, OK? Huh? Right, so we come to the I'm point... I'm sorry, is, um... Is cruise missiles topical enough? Yeah, it's topical in a sort of... OK, fine. Sort of well, way, I think I it's an absolute yeah. outrage, right, that they're spending millions on conventional weapons, billions on nuclear warheads, and now an absolute fortune they're squandering of our money on missiles, they're going to wander off around the Caribbean for a couple of weeks, having a little game of deck boys, having a little bit of drink at the old deck room at the wicker, the old cool okay. buffet at the old Mel, Mel, admiral's Mel. table in the evening. Mel, it's a Mel, 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 Mel. What? Listen, cruise missiles aren't missiles that go for a sort of, you know, for a sort of, of a cruise around the Caribbean. I mean, they're, they're missiles that, that cruise, you know. <laughs> what sort of gay missile? No! Is that what they big boys? Oh, shut up, you're being embarrassed. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, just because I haven't had principles, I do. I do apologise. Well, you haven't got principles. You've got a space between the ears. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Griff. What, what, what was it that I was interrupting that was so important? I do beg your pardon. Please go ahead and say what you were going to say. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Kathy Kirby. <laughs> Hi, 
prayer, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. Looks pretty nasty. Yes, sir. Sandwich, please, Constable. <laughs> Shut your trap, Peter. Your mum wants to see it again. No, I don't. You shut your trap and all. Oh, that'll look nice, Dixon, as you see. That's where I bought it. Yeah, a nice picture, in it? I'll try to get the tree in as well. Oh, look at the arse on that. Hey, look, that's me! Yeah, you did come with me, didn't you, Peter, as I remember? Oh, look, this is the best we could have. Yeah, I know. You look at that. Well, look, what are you doing with his hand? Brilliant, isn't it? Go on, yeah. <laughs> you had been in a way. Look at this. Look at you. Grassing on your dad. That's nice, isn't it? He's very nice. He's a good-looking young man. Mm, you nice pair of shoulders on him. Did you push this kid out of the car? Well. Classic! Yeah, well, if I'd had both hands free, it would have been a different story, wouldn't it? Not very good, is it, Dad? He'd only had it five minutes, Peter. Yeah, that's right. It's very technical. Now, look at this next shot. Now, that's what you call a creeping up the all shot, see? Who do you think is in the bedroom? Well, the brass too big for Shirley. Right, so it's your mother's, obviously. God, look at the mess in here. It's always the same, isn't it? That's boring. Speed it on. No, no, this is a good bit on. Look, right, this is, no, this is a looking in the mirror shot, you see? It's clever stuff. What's that? Never mind. <laughs> Len, look, look, wake him up, wake him up. Len, Len, wake up. You're on, Len, you're on, you're on, Len. Look, wake look. Wake up, Len, no, oh, you're yeah. on. All right. Oh, you missed it. No, it's all right. Oh, dear, Mrs. Williams, you do look well grubby. Ah. Less of that, Len, you're no. only the lodger. No. Oh, no. What? This is what? a bit embarrassing. Shut your <laughs> eyes, Peter. Oh, my girl. <laughs> We should change your wallpaper anyway. <laughs> oh, great, Dad. This is the bit when we see Shirley in her knickers. Wait, you want to see the back of my hand or what? This is your dad doing his creepy shot again, Peter. <laughs> Brilliant. Look, we really. Oh, who's that then? Who, who is that in the background there? Yeah. I've never seen that before. Who is that? <laughs> oh, she is one of them. Shut up. No, look, look. Those are your fat legs under the bed. <laughs> so where is Shirley now? Tell her she's on the video, quick. I left the girl upstairs crying on her bed, didn't I? Oh, Len, what have you gone and said to her now? What do you mean, what have I gone and said? To... Oh, look, she's only crying because she's up the pole, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> up the stick, Peter. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, watch this bit, what? no, because it's... Oh, yeah, this... Oh, yeah. Oh, I, like very very I like this bit. I like this bit. I like this bit. Your sister. Oh, yeah, you haven't. You haven't. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, this is a great lot. This is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 650 quid's worth of video gear up the stick. Oh, it's funny, No, though. lovey, the lodge has got our Shirley up the stick. That's what I said, up the stick. 700 niggas. No, love, Shirley, she's pregnant. What? Shirley? Is she? Oh, handsome. <laughs> Dear BBC, I live in Newcastle. And I object strongly to the fact that this letter would be read out by some poncy southern actor trying to do a Geordie accent, which is almost bound to end up sounding like Welsh. <laughs> the assumptions they make. I live in Newcastle, but I was born and raised in Cornwall. <laughs> However, after ten years of public school, my accent is distinctly home county. <laughs> Please get it right in future. Yours sincerely, Teresa Robbins, Mrs. <laughs> What sign are you? Eh? What, what sign were you born under? Oh, yeah, I know that one. I, it said acne maternity, I suppose. <laughs> no, 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 no. Turn no, no, no. left. No, 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 no. no, no, no. What month were you born in? Oh, I don't know. It's a long time ago now, mate. I can't remember. <laughs> What's your birthday? Well, what, November the 15th. Right. Yeah. So you're, a, you're a Scorpio. Well, oh, yeah. Because I should have guessed. Typical Scorpio you are, mate. Am I? Oh, How yeah. do you mean? What's that? Then? Well, you've got all the features of the scorpion. Have I? You see, yes. Yeah. 
You're small. Yeah. You're small, you're thick skinned. Yeah. You've got a nasty sting in your ass. Yeah. And you live in a hole. <laughs> well, I live in Peckham. <laughs> exactly. Well, so what so what so what are you then? Me, I'm uh, Taurus, mate. Taurus the bull. That figures there's a lot of bull in you, isn't there, really? <laughs> This one, this, this one says yep. that, like, your, uh, the fiery little planet Mars has entered your firmament, firmament and he's churning up your emotions. Well, that is true, because I'm feeling very churned up inside at the moment. Is that right? What's that? That's the fiery little curry you had last night. No. <laughs> no, it's like what it says. It's because Mars has entered my firmament. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not because the curry's entered your fundament, then. <laughs> no. No, well. no, no, no. Go, go on, go on. Well, and, and you find it difficult to communicate? communicate with others. Well, it's very true. That is very true at the moment. Is it? Oh, yeah. I'm having a lot of trouble communicating really? with people. What, they, they cut your telephone off, have they? Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's uncanny. Yeah. That is uncanny. Yeah. You see, now that, you've just read that. Yeah. Taurus. That's right. And that is, because that is exactly me. Right. Oh, no, I've read Gemini by mistake. <laughs> Oh, you don't believe in all that stuff, do you? Of course I, of course I do. Of course I. It's just, they just make it up, don't they? They just make it up. No, that is no. I tell you, I tell you, a man is so arrogant. We think we know. Man thinks he knows everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, we can. I mean, we we can put a man on the moon. That's right. Yeah. We can invent a computer. Yeah, yeah. We've got a shampoo that can wash and condition at the same time. Yeah. When you just got like that, it's all silky free, and it goes boing, boing, boing up in your hair like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 yeah. Yeah. Even with all that, yeah. there's still the great mysteries of life remain. Oh, yeah. The great unanswered questions. That's right, yeah. How did we get here? Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah. Why on earth did Arsenal sell Liam Brady? <laughs> Can you explain Stonehenge to me? Um. No, I can't really. I don't. Because I, I, I don't even know what hinge is, let alone a stone. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Yeah. Stonehenge is a massive circle of gigantic great grey slabs off the A30. Is it really? Yeah. 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 What's, What's the problem with that then? No, no, no. The thing is, you see, yeah. that with, with all the technology we've got, That's right, yeah. all the technology, yeah. no one can actually explain how the ancient Britons actually got those stones there. Yeah. I mean, can, well, I mean, that's, no, that's quite simple, really. What do you mean? Well, they probably want the ancient Britons that done it. Eh? It's probably the younger Britons that done it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Britons just told them where to put it and all Look, that. Look, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have you ever been there? No, of course I haven't been there. Well, I tell you, my son, yeah. it is spooky there. Is it? It yeah. is a gorgeous place of great magical natural beauty. Yeah. Yeah. I parked my caravan there Did once. You, uh, yeah. <laughs> Went down to see the summer stol stol Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I got up in the morning and, and I was standing there. It was just me, yeah. the sun was just beginning to rise, but the mists was blowing across the green grass, and it was just me, me and, 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 and his great big grey lumps. <laughs> Have you got any idea what that was like? <laughs> Sounds like watching Late Orient play a home match. <laughs> No, no, you can mock, but you, you, I know you, you're superstitious. I'm not superstitious. You oh, are. No, I don't believe in all that, any of that tourist of ball and all that Lenny the Lion stuff. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, what, so you tell me then why you won't walk on the cracks in the pavement. Well, that's not because I'm superstitious, is it? Well, what is it then? Because it's unlucky. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I've, I've seen you, I've seen you throw salt over your shoulder. No, it's just dandruff, mate. That's just... <laughs> now, the other night, having yeah. a fish supper. Yeah. I saw you throw salt over your shoulder. You did? No, I don't remember you did. doing just, that. Just, I don't remember it. Just before yeah. you poured the vinegar down your trousers. No, 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 no. And you threw the fish and chips out the window. Well, no, that's not being superstitious. That's being pissed as a fart. <laughs> Well, anyway, you've got, yeah. I mean, you've got, I, I know you've got your unlucky number, oh, like yeah. we've all got. Oh, yeah. The number 13. Oh, don't talk about that. That is an unlucky number. Unlucky is, for yeah. some. Yeah. Unlucky for Bill Wyman, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> so there we are. Are BBC reporters paid too much? Perhaps we shall never know. This is Jeremy Kingston in his own back garden. Mm. A nasty swelling, Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. It's a classic bursitis. Is it? Mm. Now, um, I'll just massage it for you. I think we'll get the swelling down. Right. right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
fine, Doctor. Then. <laughs> Wandering all alone through the city street, not the sort of guy you really want to meet. People just ignore me wherever I go. Am I a leper or a leech? Am I the lowest of the low? Why do people shun me like a fly in a flan? The cockroach in the bidet, the elephant man. I'm just a minor MP, and nobody ever listens to me. I hardly ever bother to open my mouth, cause who gives a damn about the tooting sound? Just another hand in a policy boat. No reporter's ever thought of asking me for a quote. Another gin and tonic in the members only bar. Another body in the lobby with a permit on his car. The only white paper I ever saw was hanging on the back of a lavatory door. I'm just a minor MP, a very small branch on a very big tree. From the mouth of the Thames to the banks of the Tyne, I'm happy to tow the party line. They call some extreme, they call some wet, but nobody has ever called me anything yet. I've opened up a building, seen a function or two, and once I gave an interview on Radio Crew. On polling day, I never dreamt that I'd get in. A tactical vote, that's what it must have been. I can hear them now, they're all laughing at me And saying there goes, oh what's his name, our local MP But one day soon I'll turn the tables on them This minor MP will be a major PM The number one man who lives at number ten Checking in at checkers, but then again <laughs> I'm quite glad to be a minor MP way I was always destined to be, blissfully content not to open my mouth because I don't give a damn about, I don't give a heck about, I couldn't give a hoot about tooting sound. <laughs> Friday the 13th. Yeah, that's well, right. I know, because you won't go out on no, Friday right. the 13th, I won't. will you? Oh, well, yeah. there's not a lot of point, because you obviously picked up your gyro on the Thursday. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> no, that's not the not, I mean, because I had a terrible on Friday the 13th. I yeah. never told you about that. Mm -hmm. I got on one day, like, Friday the 13th, I woke yeah. up and I wanted some milk, right? So I got out yeah. and I got my bicycle and I go down, all right, all like that. <laughs> and I just go down the hill, right, and then I'll get a puncture, right? So I get off the bicycle and I jump on the bus, but I miss my footing, right? And I fall right on a blade, like that. And I bang my head and my money goes out, all right, and Thing. When I wake up, somebody just a bit of nick nick nick. I get chucked off the bus, right? <laughs> and I have to come back again. And when I get back, somebody nick me bike, right? That's true. And then I come back home, right? And would you believe it? Like, there's two, there's two bottles of milk on the doorstep. Well, it don't seem very unlucky to me. Well, it was because the milkman was upstairs having a quick one with me, missus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went upstairs, right, so I hit the milkman and he hit me, right, and then uh, he ended up in hospital and I ended up in court, right, and then it was terrible because in the end, because my missus, she left a chip van on and she burned the house down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, no, that is a yeah, nightmare. No, that's a nightmare. Yeah. And it all happened on Friday the 13th. That's right. Yeah. 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 Was it a Tuesday? <laughs> Well, you can... Did you have a look at the portfolio? I did. I had a look at the portfolio. And 
Well, I'm obviously very interested. <laughs> it's going to be a very, very interesting new departure for us, I think. So, what, I mean, do you think we're going to find the money? Mm. Any trouble? I don't think that the finance is any problem in itself. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just a little bit... the menu, sir? Uh, no, I think Chef knows our order, Henry. Sorry, sir. Okay. Wineless, sir? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, and an area... Really? Um, that is, that is actually riskier than some of the things we've been involved in in the past. If you know what I mean. Mm. Mm. Um, I mean, I mean I've got a lot of, a lot of confidence in... Uh, <laughs> in, uh, in what Armitage has done. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, um... I actually feel that, um, <laughs> I do actually feel that there are risks. And I, obviously, I want to discuss it with you, uh, with you, George. That's why, that's why we've come out the mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. <laughs> yeah. well, do you like the man, though? I mean, what do you think of that one? I've never really trusted him, quite honest with you. But then that doesn't matter. I mean, we're going into business with him. I mean, we don't have to sleep with the rest of the people. <laughs> Actually think, then, George. I mean, what do you really feel about it? Well, I like it. I like it. I mean, I think it's a great idea. Mm. It? Ah, soup. <laughs> mm. You see, I mean, what do you, I mean, what do you make of this whole <laughs> transferring their business over to New York? <laughs> I, think, I mean, well, I think it's a good idea, you know. But, I mean, let's face it. I mean, they're not all of the same people. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that looks lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. If we can find some sort of interest ourselves. Gentlemen. Uh, just the bill, I think, Henry. Just the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. What well, we should do, frankly. We'll take another lunch. And, um, if we can't possibly get Richard Blake to come along, mm. well, I'd be interested from the accountant's point of view. Uh, excuse me, we're ready for you, but, uh, gentlemen. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> now, here are the main points of the news again, with subtitles for the militant tendency. <laughs> the Prime Minister is to make an official visit to the Bahamas next month. <laughs> Neil Kinnock spoke out today against what he called undemocratic reselection of Labour candidates. <laughs> and finally, a pig named Henry roller skated into the Guinness Book of Records at London Zoo this afternoon. <laughs> Good night. Time now, ladies and gentlemen. Time now. Drink up, would you please? Let's have your glasses. Uh, George. Yes, Mr. 
Palmer. Look, I'm, uh, I'm letting a few of the regulars you know, stay behind for an after-hours session. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Yeah. So would you mind uh, drinking up and pissing off? I need to... <laughs> 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 